Hi, Jim again with another 100% plant-based meal. Now back in episode five, I showed you how to make the uh, scallops out of king oyster mushrooms. Tonight, I'm gonna to show you how to cook them and what to do with them. Gonna make a lime garlic scallop dish with cauliflower rice and vegetables. Really light, delicate flavor, delicious. Let's get onto it. Okay, we've got the burner going. Let's turn the uh, air conditioner off so that the noise is not going in the background. Burner's going, it's got nice and warm. Now the first thing we're gonna do, those scallops that I showed you how to make out of king oyster mushrooms in episode five, they've been marinating, they ended up marinating for two days because I didn't get a chance to make these last night. Just gonna pull those out, give them a quick drain on a bit of kitchen paper. I've actually got kitchen paper this time. They should really have developed some flavor sitting in that marinade for 48 hours. I'm pretty hungry tonight, so I'm gonna put a fair, fair amount of those out. That should do nicely, wipe my hands. Okay, turn those over. Give them a little, a little drain. You don't want them too wet, they'll sizzle when they hit the butter otherwise and fart and spatter and go everywhere. So, in with a bit of vegan butter, this Nuttalex stuff, as I said before, is okay for cooking, not great for eating. So, a pretty good, pretty good issue of that. We'll just chuck that in. Give it a bit of a stir. Just turn all these scallops over and get them nice and dry. All we're gonna do here is get a nice sear on them. Just wanna put a bit of color in them. We don't wanna overcook them, cook them and toughen them up. Got that on the 1000 watt setting or 160 degrees. Just turn that up just a bit. Now oh, that looks great. You want a nice, Nice sizzle on those. Nice sear. There they go. I'm going to go up the 1800 watt setting for a second. All we're trying to do is put a bit of colour on them. They're already cooked, of course, because we simmered them away before we left them to marinate for a while. So give those a bit of a sear up. Let's grab a plate to put them on. They'll start to develop some colour pretty quickly. That bit of kitchen paper. Do with a little bit more of that butter in there. They've absorbed a bit of that. Turn that to full noise for a second on the stir fry setting on this thing. As I said before, I'm only fairly new to this induction cooking. I'm getting used to it as opposed to my normal gas stove. Yeah, it's starting to get a nice bit of colour happening there. All we're trying to do is put a bit of a, just that slight sear on them. Then we'll take them out, we'll rest them whilst we get the sauce happening and get a bit of veg to go with it on the side. It's not quite enough. Yep. See how it's developed a little bit of colour? Just what we're looking for. Not too much. I'll use my fingers quicker. No, I won't. Too bloody hot in there. Yep, see that one? That one. That nice bit of brown developing. That's about all we're looking for. Not too much more than that. That little bugger doesn't want to turn over. We really should switch to some metal tongs. These plastic things just do not grip stuff like this. Can't find any. So we'll persevere with these. Okay, they're all going just perfectly. Look at the colour on that. That's about what you want to get. You want to get that nice crispy edge. 
And then over doing them. Turn that one over there. You get a bit of variation, but that's okay. Life isn't meant to be perfect. These are not far off most. We've done a little bit of a swish around. I want to keep them moving. That little bugger hasn't had a turn yet. We'll give him a little bit of a pivot around. Okay, we're just about done there. So I'll come back to the next step in a second. Okay, they've had three or four minutes. You see they've all got a bit of colour. They're still nice and spongy. I'll take those out. Plonk them on a plate. And then we'll crack on to getting the sauce ready. Pretty quick dish to make this. A little bit of butter in there. Beauty of the vegan butter as opposed to dairy butter is it doesn't burn. You can get it fairly hot. You can see there there's no discoloration. It doesn't have exactly the same flavour as dairy butter. But and for cooking purposes, purpose, pretty damn good. I'm going to taste one of these to see how it's like on its own. Geez, that tastes very, very much like a scallop. Turn the burner down a little bit. I'm going with about, you know what, this is overpowering. Scallop's got a fairly, fairly delicate flavour, so I'm suggesting about that much garlic. Good, sort of, I'd call it a big heat teaspoon. You want that to fry off a bit. So on the spatula. At this point, that could probably do a little bit more, a little bit more butter. It's a fairly buttery dish. Just let that garlic gently cook off. We don't want to brown it too much. We'll give it a colour, a little bit of colour in it and bring the flavour out. Okay, that garlic's had about two minutes. You can see it's just got a tiny bit of colour, that's all we want. Even with a splash of wine, just always keep a bit of cheap cask wine in the fridge. I'd say probably two or three tablespoons. Anyone tells you that you can only, the only wine to cook with is wine that you drink, that's just a load of old toffee. I've uh, been in the chef game for years and I've never seen anyone in the kitchen use really good quality wine in cooking. By the time you add all the other sort of stuff to it, it's just nonsense. Now, I was going to do this with lemon, but I didn't have any lemon juice in the fridge. So it's just a bit of this, this sort of thing, stuff you get from the supermarket. As I always say, cooking doesn't have to be difficult. Good couple of squirts, lime juice. The lime's probably got more flavour than lemon anyway. And... I'm just going to let that simmer away for a while. Put the scallops aside. I'm going to plonk them back in just at the very end. Now to go with it, I'm going with something that's really, really simple. You don't want too much, any, any great flavour. There's a likely. Some people would have rice with this. Some people would have pasta, perhaps. I'm a really big fan of cauliflower rice. And this stuff from the supermarket, the frozen stuff, it really is the business. Into a microwave dish, and it's this easy to make good food. You know, about that much, that's about going to feed me. To that, just some veggies to make it taste good. And this doesn't need to be flavoured up. The veggies are not the star of the show, they're just an accompaniment. And we just quickly whip up a bit of capsicum. That's probably about enough, just put a bit of flavour in there. Just quickly dice that up. Doesn't have to be too special. Bit of that. Bit of carrot. Carrot's always great. Carrot goes well with everything. Nice light flavour. We'll just quickly. Oh, those scallops are flopping around a bit. Now, sauce there, our lime garlic butter sauce is going nicely. Carrots will just, they're always fairly fine. They just go in and Add a little bit to the cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice is so much better than regular rice because it adds nutrition, flavour. I mean, plain old rice is pretty boring. 
You know, the frozen stuff in the supermarket, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but it's so, so convenient. And as I say, cooking doesn't have to be difficult. Try and keep it simple. You get some great flavours by doing things in a pretty quick fashion. All right, that'll do for the veg. And just chuck that in with the cauliflower rice, scoop it out of the edge here. Probably gone off screen, but that doesn't much matter, you get the picture. That. We're chucking a few beans. One frozen veggie is really great. Frozen beans, they're terrific. Just a few of those in there. A little bit of Harold Holt, the old salt, you can't go wrong. Veggies need a bit of salt, just a quick sprinkle. Dash of water, you can't see that when it's down. Probably a teaspoon of water. I'll go and pop that in the microwave and we'll come back and finish these scallops off. Okay, well, those, the cauliflower rice is going in the microwave. That sauce has simmered away from it. Look at the colour of it. It's gone really golden. You see the bits of garlic in there. They're nice and delicious. I'm going to plonk the scallops in there just to warm them back up only for a minute or two. Make the burner up a bit. I'm going to pop a lid on that to hold the steam in and the flavour. And when that's had another couple of minutes, I'm going to plonk it over the cauliflower rice and then I'm going to get stuck into it with a nice glass of plonk. Okay, time to plate it up. That collie rice has got nice and fluffy and light. The veggies add a real freshness to it. As I said, much better than rice, I reckon. Got so much flavour. Bugger all carbs. If carbs are your issue, and I'm not big on the carb thing. But there's so much more nutrition and flavour in collie rice than there is in your know, rice rice. Do that. Now, take the lid off the burner. Now have a look at those. Beautiful, browned up edges. We'll chuck those on the rice. Tip that lovely sauce over the top. Don't to be too fancy here. I'm not pretending to be bloody Gordon Ramsay or Jamie Oliver or anything like that. I'm just Jim. Good old average bloke who likes decent food. Okay, plonk those on, they look terrific. They're lovely and tender and juicy. Now, grab the spatula. Oh, here we go. That sauce, you don't want to waste a drop of that stuff. Gone golden and delicious. There we go, the scallops, you know, the king oyster mushroom scallops. Turn that burner off, driving me mad. That sauce is so golden and shiny and lush and glossy. It'll soak down into that collie rice. And always, the old mate black pepper. A dish like this demands some black pepper. And a good crank, a really good crank. And that, my friends, there we are. That is a delicious 100% plant-based meal that will make you want to come back for more.